Welcome to Amit Things. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is Google Colab, how we can work around it. So, Google Colab is a free notebook environment that runs entirely in the cloud. So, you don't need to install anything to run your Python programs on Google Colab. Through Google Colab or Collaboratory, you can write and execute Python in your web browser. We'll be covering the following lessons. Let's begin with the first lesson that is Google Colab introduction, plans, how you can create and run your first notebook on Google Colab. What is TPU and GPU? Let's begin. In this video, we will learn about Google Colab, that is Google Collaboratory. With that, we will see how we can easily run notebooks on cloud. We will also see the Google Colab plans as well as what is GPU and TPU in Google Colab. After that, we will also run a sample program. Let's begin. So basically, Google Colab is also known as Collaboratory through which you can easily write, execute and share your Python codes and that too on your web browser. So you don't need to install anything on your system. This setup is entirely provided by Google on the cloud. That means you need to have only a Gmail account and a web browser to run your Python programs. It creates a notebook which is known as Colab Notebooks. Okay, whenever you will create a new notebook on Google Colab, it will automatically get saved in Google Drive. So you will be always having a backup. With that, you can also share it on GitHub by authorizing your GitHub account. Also, you can combine your executable code, your rich text, your formulas, your latex, HTML images in a single document using Google Colab. Also, one of the best features of Google Colab, almost all of the major Python libraries, that is data science and machine learning libraries also, are pre-installed in Google Colab. So, you don't need to install anything, just import it. Now I told you we will be discussing about GPU and TPU. So GPU is graphics processing unit and TPU is tensor processing unit. So if you are running a basic program in Google Colab, it's different from you running a program wherein you have a large data set, require more power from your machine. With that, you want a high level of computing as well as operations. For that, Google Colab also comes with some paid plans. We will see this later. So through GPU and TPUs, you can get the maximum power from Google hardware. Since uh, Google Colab runs on cloud, it runs on their cloud server. So these servers should have maximum performance so that it runs your program easily. We have a free Google Colab also through which you can run your programs. But if you want the highest performance, you need to go for Google Pro and Pro Plus plans. Okay. So here are the plans. If you want a basic uh, program in Google Colab, basic Python notebook, Python program, Go for the free plan but if you want maximum performance faster gpus and tpus that is processing unit you need to go for the google collab pro or collab pro plus plan so collab pro plus plan include the fastest gpus more memory more space more ram power if you are having highly complex data sets and you want the maximum performance go for go for google collab pro plus through this, you can easily work around data science and machine learning libraries and perform scientific computing. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily understand Google Colab, also the plans in it. With that, we also understood GPU and TPU. Thank you for watching the video. In this video, we will see how we can start with Google Colab. Google Colab is a platform to run Python programs just like Anaconda, but it is hosted on cloud. Okay. And it is also connected with Google Drive. So your projects gets saved on Google Drive on its own. Why? Because uh, Google Colab is owned by Google. Okay, so let's see. To begin with, you just need to log into your Gmail account. That's it and type Google Colab on Google. That's it. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official link is visible. Colab.research.google.com. Click on it. On clicking herein, you can see Google Colab open. You can directly create new notebook from here or you can go to your drive. You can upload, you can check examples, but I'll directly click on new notebook. On opening herein, you can see Google Colab is visible. At first, dot .ipynb is visible. You can click here and rename the notebook just like you do on Jupyter Notebook. So I'll just change it. Okay, so Amit. Now we have changed the name. Now to run a program, you can directly type here. I'll just type it quickly. Let's say I'll type Studypedia sample program. 
to run it you can press shift enter or you can click here i'll click here here it is guys we ran it successfully okay now let us add another code to move to the next line press enter now i'll type 20 let's say now let us print a simple example sum okay sum is c that's it now click here here you can see sum got printed when i'll go to file you can see it is in google drive now click on locate in drive now it will open google drive and it automatically created a directory collab notebooks and here it is here is our file okay with that you can go to file and you can save a copy in github also you can check the revision history also you can download it downloading will allow you to download in the same format dot ipynb or you can also directly download dot py file python file with that you can also click on this plus check sign so that you can write something let's say sample programs to sample program to sum two numbers in python okay you can directly type it here here it is okay so we have shown it here go below let's say so now i can also add images here you can add images here also or you can also add you can also format as code okay you can also add emojis here so guys now let us download this go to file click on download i'll download the dot ipynb file and it got downloaded okay with that if you want to increase the font size of the editor you can directly click here settings after clicking go to editor here and you can see you can change the font okay i'll go for 16 you can also change the indentation as well as the as well as you can also display line numbers here click on save here it is you can see here and you can see font size increased and line numbers are also visible so guys in this video we saw how we can start with google collab how we can create a new notebook on collab in this video we will see what is the runtime type on google collab so here is a google collab we have created two sample programs when you'll go to runtime you can see the change runtime option is visible click on it right now we have just created we have just started with collab so the notebook setting is none if you are running sample basic programs you can keep it none but if you are creating training models and working on machine learning data science you need to select from gpu or tpu so gpu is graphics process unit and tpu is tensor processing unit gpu is having better flexibility and compatibility for smaller batches but tpu is highly optimized for larger batch size and it has the highest training throughput if you are you are creating complex training models you can go for tpu okay with that if you want a better version of collab for large batches you can also upgrade to collab pro plus okay and for gpu you can say gpu works for smaller batches so guys if you are working on a basic project keep it as none and click on save so guys in this video we saw how we can change the runtime type on google collab and what is tpu gpu so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things in this video we will see how we can easily enable line numbers on a google collab notebook here and you can see the line numbers are not visible we can easily enable it display it go to the settings icon now here and go to editor after reaching the editor you can see after reaching the editor you can see show line numbers are visible just check this box and click on save you can also increase the font size from here click on save we have enabled the line number here and you can see so you can easily enable line numbers in a google collab notebook if you want to disable it go to the settings again 
click on editor and just uncheck this okay click on save and then you can see now the line numbers vanished so guys in this video we saw how we can enable disable line numbers in a notebook on google collab hello guys welcome to amit things in this video we will see how we can easily change the theme on a google collab notebook it's very easy here you can see your notebook is visible click on the settings button after clicking you can see under site option the theme is visible the theme is visible right now it's adaptive we can go for a the dark theme from here i'll click on save and it will change to dark theme here you can see now the dark theme is visible if you want to again change it go to settings option let's go for the light one again and click on save okay here it is we are back okay with that guys you can also increase the font size from here or display the line numbers click on settings go to editor here in from here in you can change the font size and from here in you can enable the line numbers after that guys you can click on save directly i'll click on it here it is line numbers are visible so guys in this video we saw how we can easily enable change the theme that is enable dark theme on google collab notebook in this video we will see how we can easily increase the font size in a google collab notebook here in you can see this is our collab notebook we have created two simple programs to change the font click on the settings after clicking go to editor here and you can see font size 14 i'll change it to 18 with that i can also change the with that i can also enable line numbers but let us leave it right now we have changed it to 18 you can change it all together after that just click on save here and you can see we have increased the font size easily So guys in this video we saw how we can easily increase the font size on a collab notebook in this video we will see how we can easily download our notebook on google collab so the following notebook we created amit.ipynb always the extension for notebook is ipynb if it's google collab or even if it's uh, jupyter notebook to download it go to file here in below you can see the download option is visible on clicking download ipynb the complete ipynb file will get downloaded you can also take this to your anaconda and run the same notebook there click on it here it is we have our notebook here i'll right click here show in folder so guys it got saved here you can right click and open it open it with notepad or notepad plus plus and here in you can see the format of your i ipynb file you can also take this file to your jupyter notebook with that you can also go to file and download the py extension file of it so guys in this video we saw how we can download our notebook on google collab if you like the video do subscribe to our channel namit things in this video we will see how we can import a notebook in google collab we created the following amit.ipynb notebook but we want to import a notebook from the system itself how we can do that go to file click on upload notebook okay choose file and you need to go where in your external notebook is kept it's on a desktop so here it is amit2.pynb i'll just click on it and let's see what will happen so here it is here is our external notebook file visible okay so we successfully uploaded it here You can now go to file and save it on GitHub. Save a copy. Also save a copy in Drive. But it will by default get saved in Drive because Google Collab is by default linked with Google Drive. So guys, in this video we saw how we can easily import and upload an external notebook file dot ipynb file on our Google Collab. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things. Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video we will see how we can easily run our first pandas uh, that is pandas program on Google Collab. So pandas is a library but on Google Collab you don't need to install it because Google Collab comes pre-installed with uh, some of the well known uh, data science and machine learning libraries that includes your uh, numpy pandas and matplotlib so you don't need to install it. 
So let us see how we can set up and run our first pandas program on Colab. At first I'll go to file and create a new notebook. Let us first name it. I'll name it let's say any name Amit Pandas. Now what I'll do I'll import the pandas library. I told you we don't need to install it. It comes pre-installed with Google Colab. So I'll just write import pandas and I'll just give an alias using as let's say it's pd. Okay now guys what I'll do. Under our first pandas program, I'll create a pandas series. A pandas series is basically a column in a table. You can consider it as a column in a table or it is a 1D array you can say. It is a one dimensional array which is holding data of any type. It can be integer string any type. So herein we will create a simple pandas series from a list for a sample example. So let us first create a list. I'll name it my list and I am just giving three elements in it. Now I'll take a variable and within that I'll just create a simple panda series using series method. I'm using the pd here that is the pandas library the alias of pandas which we created dot I'll just write the series method and under that I'll just pass the my list okay that's it. So this is how you can create a series uh, from a list in pandas just a simple example. Now I'll just run it. Okay, print. Let's say I'll just type oh, this is my series. Okay, print res the result. This is our series. Okay. Now to run it, I'll just directly click on this. Here is the output. You can see we can also change it a little bit. I'll just mention slash n here and I'll run it again. Now that's fine. Okay, so 0, 1, 2 is our index. Okay, the values are labeled with their index number by default because we haven't mentioned index in our series. Okay, so I'll just change it to let's say some other number so that there is no confusion with the index numbers. Okay, let me add more content to it. Uh, this is fine now. Okay, when I'll run it now you can easily understand what I just discussed about series and the and the index numbers here it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are our index numbers and these are our list elements okay. Okay you can also go to file and save this. You can directly save it in drive github but I'll save it here. It will automatically get saved in google drive because google collab belongs to google. Okay so they have this compatibility feature of directly saving it to google drive. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily run our first pandas program on, on google collab. Hello guys welcome to Amit Things. In this video we will see how we can easily run our first numpy program on Google Colab. So Google Colab comes pre-installed with uh, some of the machine learning and data science libraries like numpy, pandas and uh, matplotlib. So let us run our first numpy program. Go to file. I will create a new notebook. So here it is. Uh, let me rename it to let's say Amit NumPy. So we will be running our first uh, NumPy program. Since it's uh, since NumPy is pre-installed, the library is pre-installed. We don't need to install it. Just import it, and you can add an alias for it so that you don't need to write NumPy again and again. So we have we have our NP here. So I'll press Enter. Now let us create a new array object. Okay. Using the NP alias, I'll be writing the array method so that uh, we can create our first array. So let's see, we added three elements. We are using, we are passing a tuple to create an array. So here we added a tuple. Okay, now I'll just uh, print it. Okay, with that uh, I'll also print uh, the type of the array using the type method and after that I'll just run it. Now here you can see we successfully printed our array with three elements 1, 2, 3 and under the type it has shown that it is in a numpy nd array. So this is how you can work around NumPy in Google Colab. Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. 
In this video, we will see how we can easily run our first matplotlib program on Google Colab. Matplotlib is a Python library. It is a graph plotting library in Python that is used for uh, visualization. Okay, it is open source and free to use. So herein we will see how we will set up it on Google Colab. So Google Colab comes pre-installed with some data science and machine learning libraries like uh, NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. So we don't need to install it. We can directly use it. So let's see. I'll go to file and create a new notebook. Okay, let me name it uh, Amit Matplotlib. Okay, so we will directly import it. Okay, so basically to work on Matplotlib, we have a pyplot submodule. We'll be using it. It is a submodule, so we'll be using it like matplotlib.pyplot pyplot is our submodule for that we will be also creating an alias as plt so that we don't need to write this again and again so now we'll be using plt okay we will see a simple example to draw a simple line okay using x and y coordinates for that guys we'll be also using numpy library i told you even numpy comes pre-installed so we'll be using numpy for setting our x and y coordinates using numpy arrays so this is our x point we will be using the numpy array method ok for y points I have used the following variable yapts you can use any variable I will be using numpy array again and I uh, will set the values ok now you just need to use the matplotlib.pyplot that is plt dot plot so the plot function is basically used to draw points in a diagram okay that is uh, for example drawing a line from one point to another so i have used plt dot plot here and i'll just set both these coordinates here so that the method can use both these xy coordinates to draw a line now use the show method to display so plt dot show that's it now when i'll run it uh, you'll be able to see a line in a diagram from one position to another Here and you can see our matplotlib diagram is visible from position from position 00, 0 to position 400 4 comma 100 okay you can now right click and open it in new tab and you can copy this from here you can copy the image directly okay or you can directly save it okay with that uh, you can also save your program completely i'll just save it you can save it to drive directly I'll click on save on clicking save it will directly get saved to Google Drive because uh, Google Colab is also a Google product so they have integrated it so in this way guys you can easily work around matplotlib on uh, Google Colab in this video we will see how we can quickly share our notebook on Google Colab using Google Drive how we can quickly generate a link also or share it with any colleague or friend Okay, so we have our following Amit Tuples dot IPYNB notebook, Google Colab notebook. We created a Python, we created two Python tuples and ran it. That's it. Now I want to quickly share it. So as you know, uh, all changes saved. You can see it automatically saved our file to Google Drive. Okay, but I want to share it quickly. I don't want to move to Google Drive in a new tab. So what I'll do, I'll just click on share. That's it. It will directly give me an option to add email IDs of people I want to share just like in Google Drive and I'll just click on done. With that I can also get a link of it. I can copy link, it will copy it or I can click on change to anyone with the link. So it will give me an access to restrict or allow anyone on the internet to view it. Okay. I can also add a commenter or editor here. I got a link here. I'll copy the link and I'll click on done. Now let's go to a new tab. Click on incognito, open it. Let's say what is visible. So we generated a link for our Google Colab notebook so that so that we can easily share it with anyone. Here you can see we generated it without even signing. We open a new tab, new private incognito tab. So without even signing, you will get a following link. You can share this link with anyone on your email or anywhere to show your sample code. Okay. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily share our notebook 
using Google Drive without without even opening Google Drive on Google Colab. So guys, thank you for watching the video. In this video, we will see how we can easily share our Colab notebook on GitHub. That is how we can authorize GitHub. So the following is our notebook amit.ipynb. I'll go to file. I can right click click here, save a copy in GitHub. So you need to have an account at GitHub. I already logged into my GitHub account. So I'll click on authorize Google Colab. So here you can see it has shown the repository, the branch as well as the file path and the commit message. If you want to include a link to collaborator, you can click here or you can just remove it. I'll add it by default and click on OK. It will create a copy on GitHub. Copy is created here. Here it is. You can directly open in Collab from here. Okay. With that, you can also go to Tools and click on Settings. Here in by default, directly go to GitHub and herein it would be written Authorize Access, but I I already gave authority using the file save a copy as github option before. If you also want to remove it, you can click on revoke access. I'll click on close, cancel. Okay, so we just clicked on save a copy in github. So guys in this video we saw how we can share our Google Colab notebook on github. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things. In this video we will see how we can easily perform find and replace on a cell in Google Colab. So following is an Amit Tuples .ipynb notebook. We added a demo tuple code. We created two tuples, Python tuples and ran it. That's it. Now let's say the name of my tuples are my tuple and my tuple 2. I want to change the my tuple text to demo. What I'll do? I'll go to edit. I'll click on find and replace. You can also use control H keyboard shortcut. Now here it is. So what I'll do? I'll just mention my tuple here and I'll replace it with demo that's it when i'll click on replace all it will replace all of them first i'll click on replace let's see what will happen my tuple to demo it replaced it one time it will also replace it here after clicking replace all i want to replace all of them so i'll directly click on replace all here it is we replaced it now i'll close this and i'll click on run demo here and you can see output is correctly visible so guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily perform find and replace in a cell on Google Colab. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can work around with cells in Google Colab. Colab basically has two types of cells, text and code. Text cells are basically formatted using a simple markup language called Markdown. Here is the text cell. Okay, with that, we also have a code cell here. So we have a text cell here, we created it. When I'll double click on it, you can see it's visible here. You can easily use the markdown codes also. Okay, for example, okay, I want to bold this. I'll just use double star here and double star here. Here and you can see we have bolded it. This is the result. If you want to italize, you can let's say sum. I'll add a single star here and single star here. This will Italize the sum only, only the sum word. If you want to strike through, let's say the following sample I'll strike through. I'll use, I'll use two curls and the sample is now strike. So this is how we can work around, around markdown in a text cell on Google Colab. Okay. Here it is. Now let's say you want to move the cells. Our following IPYNB, that means our following notebook is having the following codes. Two codes here you can say. With that we also added about these using text. So let's say you want to move the entire cell here above this. Above the, on the top that is above the following. So keep the cursor here and click on this to move the cell up. Here it is. We have our cell up here. Okay. I can move it above, up. I have moved it to the top. With that, you can again, uh, let's say I'll, I'll click here again to show you.
okay now you can see I clicked here and I got an option again so I'll just click on move cell up here so that we are back with our code so when I'll click here you can see sample program to two number should be here because we have added here so for representation purposes I'll move cell up and the following is a representation of text as well as code here okay from here in you can get a link to the cell and you can share it with your friends I'll copy it let's say I'll open it here again in the same window you can open it in another window with a new gmail account so you can see the entire cell cells got copied now you can go here to click on open editor settings here in you can set the editor font size indentation we saw it before also you can also enable line numbers and indentation guides okay you can also then click on cancel or save it if you have done some changes click on cancel if you want to delete a cell click here if you want to mirror cell in a tab you can click here on the three dots I'll click after clicking three dots you can see you can select a cell copy this cell cut this cell view output in full screen I'll click on it so the output is visible here it's not completely visible here here you can see it's in black some 30 so I clicked on escape now click here again you can also clear the output with that you can right click on any cell and get all these options here again you can delete a cell copy cut a cell you can also click here the second cell sorry the second cell is the following since uh, this is not a code cell this is a text cell the following are the options if you will click on a code cell right click you will get more options here okay that is you can link to a cell you can cut a cell you can clear the output obviously for uh, code cell you will be having the following output options also but for text cells you will be having only these options so guys in this video we saw how we can work around cells in a python notebook on google collab if you like the video do subscribe to our channel amit things in this video we will see how we can easily open a notebook from google drive in google collab here is our google collab i'll go to file click on open notebook on clicking some options are visible recent google drive github i want to open from google drive so the following are my notebooks in google drive let's say i want to open the following amit numpy dot ipynb i'll click on it that's it it will open here here it is and uh, we created a sample numpy amit numpy program here and we also ran it you can easily open your notebook from google drive using this so guys in this video we saw how we can easily open a google collab notebook from google drive if you like the video do subscribe to our channel amit things in this video we will see how we can easily open a google collab notebook from github so herein you can see when i'll go to tools i'll go to settings and herein on clicking github you can see we already linked our github account to google drive account so that means we already have we already have google collab notebooks on github so i'll just go to file and click on open notebook after that i'll go to github and right now you can see I added only a single file in a GitHub account. I linked my GitHub account with my Google Collab and I added a single file. So I'll just click on it to open. Let's see what will happen. Amit.ipynb file. So here it is. Here is our Amit.ipynb file. We actually uploaded it from GitHub. So guys, in this video we saw how we can easily open a notebook from GitHub in our Google Collab. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.